It's that time again. It's time for another Saturday night special where we talk about everything rock hounding related. Happy New Year's, everybody. It is, uh, of course, that time of year where it's excellent to uh, well reflect upon the past year. You know, 2021 for myself, Sarah, and, and the dog was quite good. You know, we had a lot of amazing, amazing rock hounding adventures be able to meet a lot of cool people, amazing experiences. I mean, it was a it was a great year. What can I say? You know, um, some of the things that kind of really really stand out to me: uh, getting a microscope. <laughs> the microscope has been an absolute game changer when it comes to rock and mineral identification, which is a big part of what we do here on the channel. You know, I mean. It's not just uh, find stuff, it's find stuff, investigate things, it's uh, identify, it's on, on, on muddy the waters, you know? We, rocks and minerals are complex and the microscope has been such an amazing gift to receive. Uh, thank you so much, James, who donated the microscope to me and, and, and the channel, really all of us. So, very cool. Uh, taking the show underground, you know, uh, going out and having these types of experiences, witnessing firsthand this type of history here, you know, uh, go hang out underground with my wife on a hot summer day is uh, hard, hard to beat, you know. We had a lot of fun meeting other rock hounds, you know, from Kate, from Katie did, uh, Backcountry Sean, uh, Jeremiah with Ragnar Rocks, Cordell, Rock Hugger. Um, I'm not trying to leave anybody out, you know, but I uh, just, yeah, uh, Dawn with uh, the Big Picture Jasper mine. Uh, just on and on. Too many names to list, you know. Uh, the Wild Turkey mine opening, right? Opening day of the season this past year. What an epic turnout. It was so great to meet all of these people and just kind of. Well, hang out, hang out and learn, learn from my fellow rock hounds, you know. Uh, man, I got to see this huge, this is a piece of picture Jasper, right? Look at that, that is wild. You know, just to have those kinds of experiences are, are priceless, right? Uh, this big agate, the big agate that we found up at Brian Head, I mean, what, what does that even weigh? I have no clue. No clue, you know. Me and Sarah did a lot of camping. Yeah, we stayed at a, a fire lookout, which is something we haven't done in a while. And it's just great. Great experiences, you know. And I have high hopes for 2022. It'll be even better, you know. This past year, we, we launched the website. Uh, and that's progressively growing, you know. We're, we're a two two-person show here, so... Uh, it, we, we gotta wear a lot of hats. <laughs> we gotta wear a lot of hats to make, make these types of things really happen, you know? And I, I, I want to expand on the website in the coming year. Uh, I have a lot of, a lot of things in the works, you know? Um, and that, that was what my, my year looked like, but it wasn't all wasn't all great. Um, this past week, we lost somebody here in the community. Uh, I know some of you are probably uh, aware of this person, Lamar, with uh, New York Rockheads. Well, uh, he also went by the name Doc Jersey. He passed away, I believe, Christmas Eve. Um, but he was a, a great member of this rock hounding community that we've built here on on youtube you know um i'm gonna drop a, a link down to his channel uh definitely go watch his videos you can just tell that he was a super passionate guy about rocks he loved everybody in the community uh, all of it solid solid person and uh sad to sad to lose people like that and i, I do think that in a way, it's it's very nice, very nice to have these videos from him that are kind of like this. Uh, it's like a little bit of a legacy that we all get to we all get to enjoy, you know. Somewhere I have some stickers from him. 
you know, me and him, we weren't the best of friends. Um, but we, you know, we messaged each other, we communicated and stuff. And it's, it's sad, sad to see him go, but what else can I say about that? You know, I guess I'm, I'm not, I don't handle those types of things very well. Me may, may not be the most eloquent person with it. Um, some of the, the fines this past year that really stand out in my mind. Right? So this is one of the Dugway geodes. I believe Sarah picked this one up. Man, that blue. Maybe we'll take some photos outside. It's cold as can be today. 13 degrees out. But let's take it out. The sun is out. We'll take some nice photos of these. Be a great experience at Dugway. Man, really, you got to spend at like a couple of days at Dugway. Utah. The banded calcite near Nephi, Utah. Look at that. That is gorgeous. I like, I kind of like that it's uh, <laughs> kind of ugly on the outside. You can kind of see what the potential is with it. And then the cut is uh, superb. Oops, sorry. Blinding you there with my, with my light. The cut on it is superb in my opinion. Um, Beautiful piece. Another one that some of you have seen, some of you have not seen. The majority of you have not. It's a beautiful piece of opal from right here. Right here in Spokane. Those of you that are channel members, there is a video up about this. Go check that out if you haven't. The members make a lot of stuff happen here on the channel. Um, I'm very thankful for, for that kind of support. You know, it's uh, it's not easy um, trying to work on some of the bigger projects. So their support is very appreciated. And I think uh, all, of, uh, <laughs> all of us could probably say thank you to them. So uh, thank you. Thank you, all the, all the members here, you know. Um, this past week... We uh, went exploring. We went out and we tried to go to all these different mines and stuff, including the Turk, um, which ended up turning out really, really well. You know, some interesting specimens were found and, you know, copper, malachite, those things. And overall, a good, great experience. I mean, that's a big look, look with the rock hounding thing. A big part of it is the adventure part of it. You know, it's, hmm, I always, I like to think about how like people in the gold prospecting world say it. They're like, it's called prospecting, not like gold picking up or whatever they say. And somewhat similar, like, you know, there are those places, of course, where rock hounding is shooting a fish in a barrel. And uh, those are, of course, nice, but it's also fun just to go out and explore and, you know, make those educated guesses and see what you're going to come up with. You might might be surprised at what is just sitting out there waiting to be picked. Um, I do want to go back. I mean, I think there is enough indication there uh, to kind of show that there's potential for some even bigger and better pieces. Um, I believe, it was, I believe it was Lester left a comment uh, asking if this stuff is solid. And while I don't want to fire up the saw, I did chip off, I did break off a little piece. And what you see on the outside continues all the way through. So it would be very cool to go back and, uh, well, dig, move some of that tailings around, you know, and possibly find something even better, right? Like, that's, that would be great. That would be great. Um, I forgot something. I'm going to go run and grab it. So let me share with you something that I didn't actually show in the Turk scouting video. And that is this. Now this is, I'm so lucky to have a geological atlas of where I live with all of the mines, um, it's just, it's amazing. Now, to give you kind of an idea, this is one county in Northeast Washington. We have 960 mines. <laughs> I mean, that is, when I say we're only scratching the surface, this is a prime example of what I'm talking about, you know? Um, keep that in mind when people are like, 
don't give away your spots. I'm like, you know how many spots there are? Like, I'm not going to get to them all in my lifetime. And this is what I do now. <laughs> so let's, let me show you what this is like. I wish everybody had one of these. Um, let's, I got to, I got to de-glove here. What, whatever you do, uh, don't go to Google Images and type that in. Um, so we have our atlas here. Now, if you're uh, a, a person of vintage <laughs> like myself, uh, you uh, have probably seen a Thomason guide. This is pretty much laid out the way a, a Thomason guide used to uh, be laid out where you can be like above this, you'd go to page 28, that type of thing. Um, but we have on here all of these mines laid out and it is, it is so amazing, right? It's so amazing to, <clears throat> to have as a resource. So um, the way it works Okay, there's a table in the front here, and you can look up, right? We got the page, the number, the, the page number, the name, GPS. We have all the things, okay? All of it. So let's just grab one and uh, something good in here. All right, let's uh, find mine 61 on page 9. Check this out. So right up here at the top, okay, we have mine 61. And according to the directory here, we have our, our GPS, we have all of our stuff. Asino pyrite, magnetite pyrite, quartz, shelite, all kinds of different minerals located there. It's very, very easy. This I don't know what else to say. Uh, if you're a local, Matt Metrics, check him out. Um, he's got a lot of good stuff. Unfortunately, it's not not for everywhere, but uh, overall, it's a killer, killer resource to have. And uh, he, he does have a couple of other other counties, um, but man, yeah, it's uh, there's a lot to it. There is a lot. Well. Updates, um, the AR500 chisel is in the works. Um, a viewer here on the channel, I don't, I'm not gonna name names just yet. He has uh, decided to help me prototype them and give them a test. So that's good news, good news for all of us because who knows where this could lead. Might be able to have a small batch ran at some point here in the future for us. Well. On to 2022, everybody. Thank you so much for being part of the channel here. If you like the content, if you want to support the work here and this project, the website, all of these things, um, please consider becoming a member here on the channel. That support goes a long, long ways in making the content happen. All right, everyone. Thank you. Y'all take care.